I can't stand him. You can't stand him. You are such, you are so carnal. You can't stand him. You, you can't stand him. Well, what can't you stand? Holy Spirit that created the whole world and created the universe is so humble. He is so glorious. He owns everything. The Bible says, by the Holy Ghost, God beautified the heavens. This Holy Spirit beautified all things. He's so beautiful. He came so humbly to live in your body. You. What are you? That God Almighty will see you as his house and live in you. The epitome of humility. Think about it. God is so humble. You even need makeup to look better. <laughs> and then God comes to dwell in you. With all the filth that you have sometimes. With all the wickedness that go through your mind sometimes. And yet he's pleased. He doesn't say, I can't stand him. Listen, in the Old Testament, he refused to take that. He wouldn't take the wrong thought from them. He said, bring them to talk to me at the mountain. Then he said, don't let them come close to even the bottom. So I'll kill everybody. And Moses had to give them a distance. And then when they saw the fire on the mountain, the thunders, they were so scared. God said, I just wanted to first terrorize them so they understand who I am. <laughs> they shook. That God came to live in you out of his love. Then you now come into a church and you say, I own this place is just, mm, mm, I can't stand this place. I don't know whether I'm going to come to this church again. Mm? Uh, you, you are dirtier than the, than the building you're talking about. And yet the Holy Ghost came to live in you. Be humble, my brother. Be humble, my sister. Be humble. Be like him. Copy him. The Bible says we should walk in love. As beloved what? Children. Be ye imitators of God. As beloved children. And walk in love. As Christ also hath loved us. Walk in love. Okay. But here's the beautiful thing. Joshua gets.